I guess I should work a double since you guys don't have time for me. Girl, you need a man. Girl, you need to watch your mouth. Do you see the film in, in any way is, is part of a movement in terms of the popularization of black-led horror films? I told Tate when he, he called to pitch me this, he said, I have a horror movie uh, that I want you to do. And I stopped him. I said, listen, black people usually die within the first 15 minutes of a horror <laughs> film. Right. And he said, you get to kill everybody. <laughs> and so I said, sign me up. We'll talk about the logistics later. There haven't been any women of color headlining movies like this. Right. There was Candyman and you know all, all of these other ones but but none for women of color and i think uh i wanted that opportunity for young girls to to be able to play whatever role they want to play if, if you want a romantic comedy you should have that if you want to be a villain you should have that if you want to be in a horror film you should have those roles available when you just look at the movies that i've done i've never understood this unfortunate phenomenon it's ridiculous but i think mm -hmm. so we all Live and live, breathe the same air. Eat this. I mean, it's ridiculous. I, I hope so. It's one of those things that shouldn't be significant. But then again, this yeah, is America. I almost, so I almost hate that you have to talk about it. Right. As being significant. And when I know my friend and how talented she is and what she's accomplished, I'm like, are we still talking about this? Right. But we need to. Was the role written for a black woman? No, it was not. It was not. It was not. Yeah. See. And Tate is the one who said you should do this, and I said, of, of course I should, for a lot of reasons. Yeah. This is the most fun I've had in a long time.